spoke about replication and now we will talk about transcription. Now transcription is nothing but a DNA, the information of the DNA will be transferred to RNA. So that is called as transcription. In even more simpler way, the DNA, now, now DNA has finished replication. Now each of these DNA, each of these DNA strand, what happens? The information, the base pairs in these each of these strands will be coded by RNA. So transformation of information from DNA to RNA is called as transcription. And now the only difference is that A will always pair with T with the help of a double bond, right? Double hydrogen bond. But instead of thymine, there is uracil in case of RNA. So that's the only difference in case of coding. And now for the transcription to take place, there has to be three regions. One and all these region will range from 5 prime end to 3 prime end and now first you have promoter region and then you have the structural genes and you have the terminator region and a promoter region is a region that promotes which means that beginning there is something there is a start of a process and structural gene is a continuation of the process and terminator is what there is ending of the process so that is promoter structural gene and terminator and now promoter in prokaryotes and now we will see prokaryotes separately and eukaryotes separately and in this prokaryotes the promoter region is rich in adenine and thymine and you call it as tata box tata -T -A, okay which means that it is rich in thymine and adenine so that is called as the promoter region of prokaryotes and now the promoter region of eukaryotes it's called as pribnobox right pribnobox and now always 3 prime to 5 prime will be the template strand okay and 5 prime to 3 prime will be the coding strand and this will code all the four pairs in relation with RNA where instead of T U will be coded and now we'll talk about the structural genes now this structural genes will have exons in case of prokaryotes and they have both exons and introns in case of eukaryotes and now this extrons are the coding they are all functional genes and this introns are all non-coding genes right and they are called as introns and now what happens is that RNA polymerase along with this promoter region will undergo the process of transcription and now in transcription three RNAs have been involved messenger RNA, transcription RNA and ribosomal RNA fine and now we are done with the concept and now how the process take place okay now before that the template strand is A, G, C, A, U and now can you guess what would be the coding strand for A it is U for G it is C fine U C and C it is G A again it is U U it is A so if this is the sequence of a template strand and this would be the sequence of a coding strand so that is the process and now we will start with initiation as I told you all, there is a promoter region and in promoter region along with RNA polymerase and you indicate with the symbol sigma, how, that's how a promotion takes place, the starting of the process takes place. And now what will happen, this is how the, the initiation process, 
and now an elongation process for the template strand one of the template strand the coding strand for the rna base pair will take place so this process will take place in the elongation once this process is over and now as the process takes place the rna polymerase along with the sigma will start moving along with the direction of the strand fine and that is elongation and next in termination what happens so now the rna is been coded the genetic information from the dna is been transferred to rna now what happens there has to be a stop for this transcription process how does this stop rho gene along with it, it is a pro terminator gene fine so terminator gene which is rho gene and this will stop or terminate the transcription and this three process is in case of prokaryotes but in case of eukaryotes the only difficulty is that these structural genes will have both the introns and exons so in that case the rna will have a cap in its in its 5 prime end and its 3 prime end will have it will undergo adenylation that is polyadenylation so it has poly a tail and now this will have both introns and exons now the introns will be removed with the help of splicing so splicing is nothing but the intron or the non-coded gene which has been removed and only the uh, exons have been kept right so only the coding region has been kept and now after this a very important topic is all about the codons now what are codons now these uh, uh, base pairs three consecutive base pairs are called as codons for example g u c is a codon so triplet codons so that's how you call it as a triplet base pair is called as a codon and now each of these codons will code for a specific amino acid for example guu guc gua gug and all these will code for valine so n number of codons this way which is given in a big tabular column in your book so you can just go through that so these are all the different types of codons coding for amino acid and now always start codon is something like promoter from which it starts and this start codon will start when there is a u g and stop codon you have three stop codons but only one start codon and now we'll talk about something on mutation so mutation is nothing but any changes in this triplet code for example you have this g u u g u c g u a for example you have this sequence insertion is where there is a specific single base pair being inserted and now what will happen it will be g u u g g u c g u now can you understand how the sequence codon sequence has been changed and they cannot code for amino acids so that they can code for the amino acid but few cannot code for the amino acid because there's a change in the sequence and deletion deletion is where one has been deleted and point mutation is nothing but in a specific point either insertion or deletion is taking place and that is called as translation so next chap uh, next course we will talk about the process of protein synthesis